Hello and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program with me, the Green Dragon. So, I had some problems setting the Paul mission craft as my target, so I had to get rid of all my debris. I have turned it, I got rid of the existing debris and I turned it back on so we can now start creating some more, but yeah, I really didn't want to do it, but I didn't have a choice. Anyway, as you can see, I've launched the second craft, the Val mission, placed in a higher orbit, and we'll be building that in parallel. Now, I have decided to launch the second lander as well in the next video, because I want to show off the difficult, the second launch system and the second lander. Well, quite simply, because it's kind of cool. Anyway, we're gonna launch, we're gonna rendezvous with the craft, and we're gonna dock these things together, so here we go, and let's launch. Okay, everything looks good, accelerating okay-ishly, bit of swaying there at the top, but I believe it's strapped together pretty well and it should be just fine. We'll have to manage our throttle a bit, for two reasons, the overheating and atmospheric drag. If you move beyond certain speed, you start losing a great, great deal of speed to atmospheric drag. It's called terminal velocity, I think, and you want to stay below it. So, yeah, I'm gonna be managing my throttle a bit to con keep my speed from going too far up, because then we'll start wasting fuel and we don't want that. Okay, 140, throttle down a bit. That's good. As you can see, it's a three-stage launcher. It's the basic boosters which get us, you know, up out of the thickest part of the atmosphere. This gets us into orbit or nearly so, and then there's the final stage which is the lander itself. Speed appears to be okay. Everything is nicely under control. Yeah, the game in 19.1 gets lag spikes at low altitudes sometimes. We managed to avoid it last time. I, I don't know where it's coming from. I saw it in one of the Kurt J. Max videos too, so it's not just me. And I, I honestly don't know. It should get better once we get a bit higher up. I should start my turn right now for the simple reason that these lag spikes will make it harder for me to, you know, turn. And yeah, turn completed on schedule. We accelerate and all things appear to be good. Still have a bit of fuel in these, which is also quite excellent. And we are accelerating nicely. Maybe if I turn it I think it might be graphics loading or unloading or something. I don't know. I think I'm gonna check the forums for fixes. If you know the fix for this, feel free to share. I'll certainly appreciate it. Because, well, I mean, I'm getting 20 frames per second, which is pretty good. It's pretty watchable, unless you get lag spikes, in which case it's not. Okay, what's our numbers look like? I need to turn some more now. So, 25 degrees off the horizontal. Yeah, I should have launched a bit earlier, but I think we'll still be okay. This has more than enough delta E to make it into orbit without, you know, tapping into the lander's own supply, but we will in order to safely the orbit you know. Now go away. Yeah, on big boosters you need that when you, you know, decouple the last set of big boosters for the simple reason that your craft tries to alter its heading. It spins around, it acts weird. And if it does that, you can smash your engines or your rear fuel tanks into those and that is not a good thing. Believe me, it is not a good thing. 
all right fuel is looking really good as is speed we should make it into orbit quite easily hopefully I have balanced it more or less okay well I did test it obviously but let's hope that the balance works out well enough and we don't have too much problems landing let's check the landing gear make sure that just in case yeah this is the low G lander as and we overshot just a bit okay we'll need to catch up so okay we're gonna have a lot of speed relative to target which is unfortunate I'm gonna kill it here to match our orbit somewhat okay for that we need to turn around and since we have all this fuel we might as well use it some I mean let's make use of this let's just make use of it see this is why I don't like making rendezvous in low orbits because you're so close to the fucking atmosphere I mean huh and burning downwards seems to have a positive effect on our well that side of our orbit okay let's just turn this way now and burn towards our target like that and that is making it weird now okay so doing great on that eh hopefully I won't fuck it up and come crashing down can afford to waste a bit of fuel on that anyway there we go use our little engine we can raise the atmosphere a little bit but we do not want to go too low into it that seems relatively appropriate you should come pretty close now am I already inside it? I am okay so I guess we'll have to wait for a tiny bit and we'll see how that goes. We're nearing our periap, so should be fine. Let's set it to our target thingy and name ourselves retrograde in relation to its speed vector thingy. Distance is going down nicely. We are getting closer and closer. We're gonna have a really close pass, which I like. I certainly like that. We'll use a bit of our fuel, but uh, the way this mission is designed, with how much extra fuel I'll be bringing up along with the, you know, detachable fuel tanks, I shouldn't have any problem fully refueling everything without actually using my dedicated refueling design. Quite possibly, anyway. So that should not be a problem, but of course we'll have to see how that goes we lost barely any speed on that so okay okay now we're getting close to the cuddly maneuvers as some people might call them let's do it like this alter our heading to push towards the target damn this engine is weak I'll have to be careful on the landing but it's a low G lander it'll still have like 6 to 10 times the thrust to weight ratio on Joule's moons depending on which moon we're talking about you know Bob or Paul the lander for wall is actually far more powerful it will have an aerospike engine and more fuel this thing has some 2500 meters per second which is uh, 
more than enough for landing on a target with minimum levels of gravity and rendezvousing with a craft in orbit. As such. Okay. Like that now, like that. Okay. We want to head straight for it more or less now. Our fuel should hold out. And so we continue. Just 40 more meters per second. Yeah, I don't have lots of practice with rendezvousing at such low altitudes. You know, from a carbon launch, so it might be a bit messy. I'll have to be more careful with the heavier stuff. And I'll just have to launch sooner. Okay, let's just... Keep adjusting that, and... That seems alright. That's still a very low, very far pass. I want it to be a lot closer. Say 500 meters will do at this point. We need to shift our trajectory a bit more. There we go. That appears to be working out alright. Okay. This way? No, nope, that's going. Okay, yeah, this way. Okay. That is probably as good as we're gonna get. So, and most of that is from ascending descending nodes anyway. So, I suppose we'll just wait until we drift closer and then we'll kill our speed and come in on RCS such as we have. And incidentally, this is equipped with a mapping tool, as will the probes we will launch. Because I do believe there are anomalies on one of those tiny moons and I want to land at them. Okay, time to initiate our braking maneuver. Break. Oh, that's actually pretty good as far as braking maneuvers go. Oh, I shouldn't have stopped just yet. Actually, this worked out damn well. I mean, pretty fracking perfectly, really. Okay, now we come in on RCS. Excellent. Docking time, docking time. This thing is gonna be a bit twitchy because it's so light. And of course I tested the RCS balance on a fuel ta full tank of fuel so it might have shifted somewhat. Well, I'm pretty sure it will have. In any case, open shield. Set as target. Uh, RCS on. Forwards. And adjust. Uh, it seems alright. I can certainly work with this. And we are coming in. Time warped. Okay, adjust that. Coming in a bit hot, but uh, I think we should be able to manage. Let's, let's slow ourselves down. Actually, that's too much slowing down. For the why did I deploy those? Hit the wrong key there. Alright. Slight adjustment, slight adjustment. Okay, too much in that direction. Now we want to come in more or less straight. think aligned like this. No, aligned like this. Keep that on the side there. That will do. And we are docked. Excellent! So, the mission continues. I believe I have added a Communitron on this, which we deploy, 
and actually that is a bad 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 placement for that communitron I think I can swing it though actually how much do I have left there okay RCS on and back away gonna have to rotate here in order to yeah we're gonna have to be aligned like this okay set as target we're gonna back off to 100 meters and we're gonna come in and for another docking because kind of worried about that communitron interfering with things if you know what I mean which well because we're gonna be adding pretty large fuel tanks there oh wrong direction uh, break there we go come in come in come in okay one meter per second straight in there we go have to slow down now-ish to about five tenths of a meter per second further slowing down to actually maybe like this would be better at an there like that that way all the bits which are sticking out will stick out in the right direction there tiny adjustments and should be okay -ish. ah just come in for the docking and almost almost and we have a lock excellent so now this will be called low G which is entirely wrong and okay housekeeping okay we'll fill that up cause you know for balance issues we will, uh, well, not much point doing that. We will transfer the RCS over. And, okay, so we have made a start. We will dock a probe here, a probe here, and we will also dock a lot of fuel tanks on the sides. Might actually add a seventh fuel tank here as a reserve thing maybe we'll see actually how that goes let's okay and we'll be launching the medium G lander next and after that we will launch one of the probes and I'll all the probe launches will be pretty similar, so I'll only show you one of those. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.